Hello everyone, welcome to this question where we are given a diagram with center O, radius is given as 6 cm. They also give me an important information area of the sector OAPB. And with that, I will then be able to zoom in to part A because then I can find my angle AOB. So if I were to zoom in here, so this is the angle that we are supposed to find. Angle AOB and they give me the area of this sector. That means this, the one that I'm going to highlighting now. The whole area is given 35 cm square. And I know the radius. And so I'm going to apply my area of a sector formula to find this because to find the area of a sector is equals to the angle, in this case angle AOB, divided by 360 degree multiplied by pi r square. And they tell me this area is actually equals to 35 cm square. So with this in mind, I can then find what is required because radius is also given 6. Okay? So I am going to now zoom into my working. So as you can see here, then with the radius as 6 and the area of the sector as 35, then I can apply my algebraic skills, dividing pi 6 square on both sides of this equation, followed by multiplying the 360. That will give me the angle AOB 111.4 degrees to one decimal place. Part 2, Part B, find the area of the shaded segment APB. So I'm going to move on to here. Would then require us to see that, hey, I got my 35. So if I can somehow find my green color, triangle which we could now that we have this angle that is found in part A which is let's see 114.408 and we got 6 here as the radius so what do you think we could do? I got number, I got number, I got angle. Yes, please make use of your knowledge of trigo, half A, B, sine C. Okay. So once we know the area of the triangle, we just need to use 35, which is the black color area, minus away the green color area. And that's what you will see here. Step 1, then you will see Mr. Tan here trying to find the area of the green color triangle, applying the formula to find area of a triangle. Then, the red color area is simply the sector minus away the triangle. Okay? And this will be the final answer in 3SF. And now, let's move on to the last part of this problem where we are looking at the perimeter now of the shaded segment. Okay? So from here, right, 
then we must first find what is the length AB. I can also find my arc AB. Then I just need to add them out. Right? And because we already know this angle. 111.5 one, one, one degree and we also know that this is radius and looking at this configuration trying to find the length AB what do you think we should use? yes! cosine rule! and after that we need to find the arc as well using the arc formula okay and so you will then see Mr. Tan's working as such using cosine rule I find my length AB after which, I need to find my arc APB, which is this. This is my AB. So to get the perimeter, I just need to add them out. And this will be the final answer. Alright, with that, we have come to the end of this video. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.